Malachi, you've signed for Yoxie. What are your first impressions? Really like it here. Um, I knew coming up here, like it would be a good experience and stuff. But just we had to be in today. Back at like play, and it was good. Like I like uh, the boys are very welcoming. Uh, good batch of boys, and like spoke to the manager, and uh, I just like it so far. Can't can't wait to get going. Well, why back to the start of your career, career, career? You spent, I think it was about five years with Tottenham in the academy, coming through there. Just talk to me about the experience as a whole. Um, it was, how long was I there? I think it was like 10 years. Well, it was, yeah, it started off in the academy then got brought through to yeah, the first team. Yeah, I was about 11. Uh, it was really good. <coughs> we learnt a lot. Um, really grew me, grew me into who I was today, to be fair. Um, started off as a striker and then they changed me to a centre half so they literally done a lot for me but it was really good really helped me on the fundamentals the basics the passing and stuff uh, I can't fault it at all really and you obviously got given your first minutes in the Tottenham shirt in the Champions League and the Jose Mourinho just what an opportunity for you yeah no even to this day no matter whoever asked me about it like it still feels surreal like the feeling of like when you're a kid you watch Champions League and then running out and hearing the song and stuff like honestly I thought I was dreaming but it was really good and uh, I'm always grateful and while you were at Tottenham you had a loan spell over at Dundee in Scotland and I don't think you could go much further north could you and just a different experience there as well yeah uh, it was really cold freezing um, and it was just after lockdown so uh, there wasn't any. I don't, think, I don't think there's any fans in the stadium. It was really different, but it's like it's a complete different change to Tottenham. So I thought it was good because it kind of got me out of my comfort zone. And like now, like wherever I go, wherever wherever it may be, like I'm used to like being completely out of my comfort zone. So I feel like it was a good learn uh, in that aspect. Obviously, I got injured out there. Didn't play much, but just to learn about the real world and get out of the Tottenham bubble was really good. Yeah, and then obviously you've gone from England to Scotland and then your first um, permanent club since Tottenham was Cardiff over there. How have you found that so far? Really good. Um, going there last season, it was tough because I just had a hamstring injury. So I just had surgery, just come back, hadn't really played and then it was quite tough. But uh, speaking to them, really good. Had a really good pre-season with them, and um, I'm really enjoying it there so far. Um, you're back up to Scotland for with Dunfermline on loan. When you got Dunfermline, I think you scored was it three goals there. I think that might be some of your abilities when you start off as a striker, as you mentioned. Are you someone that likes to try and get in the box when you can and maybe score a few goals? Yeah, I always think like wide free kicks, corners, anything. I'm always like, yeah, I'm going. I'll try and stop them playing it short as much because I want them to put it in the box. For like, like when it's in front of a goal, like you'll see in training and stuff. Like I love like finishing and stuff. So no matter what it is, if it's like a corner, etc. I want to be there, and I always think like I always try to get myself in the right positions to score. And just building that, um, just as a player as a whole, what kind of player are you? I'm a ball player in the centre half, but like, I love the ball at my feet. But then turn it around, I'll head it, I'll tackle, I'll defend, like I'll put my body on the line. So I'll say all round. I love defending, so that will, that comes first. Going into every game is make sure you don't concede, and then playing on the ball, short, long. Uh, don't mind either right side or left side, but I just love playing. Like, I love the ball on my feet. Just love having the ball. Yeah, and you've, I think you played most of your career at centre back. Uh, can you play left back or right back, or is it just limited to sort of centre back? I actually made my debut at right back. Oh. Um, I don't know why, but I made my debut at right back. I've never played anywhere else, so I always say to like the boys, I can play holding midfield, I can play right back, I can play left back, but I, I'll never, I don't know, I feel like I could play right back, left back, I don't know, I reckon I could do a job at left back, and then I'm confident on the ball, so holding midfield, I've always said to everyone, like, put me holding midfield, you see a different player. Yeah, 
um, a look at the move here to York City now. How has how's that come about? Is it Cardiff manager who's been looking out for a low move for you? Or has Adam Hinch with the York manager gone to Cardiff and sort of said, we're like, look at you? Yeah, no, the Cardiff manager said that he wanted me to go on loan, he wanted me to play minutes and um, just get um, however many games they can. And how it came about, I was sitting down on my sofa on deadline day and my agent called me and he was at York I'm really like keen to have you here and I was like uh, York okay and then when I, when I had a look and called him back and I said yeah I'll go they play football that's how I like to play and um, after that it was close it was tight but we got there in the end and I'm glad to be here it's National League, I don't think played National League before. Do you know much about the division? Know any players that are playing in the, in the league? I know quite a few in the league at the minute, so I know a bit about the league. I've never played. I've watched a few games, I love watching football, so if, if it's like any games on TV, I watch. But um, I know, uh, yeah, I feel like there's about seven or eight players that I know that are playing in the National League right now, so we've got two of them on the weekend. So. I know it's not an easy league, I'm not going to come down there and say like, it's going to be a piece of cake, no it's not easy and um, it's very like, you'll be surprised, if you go in there with that mindset you'll be very surprised so I know it's a good league and it's, it'll be different for me but I'm here and I'm enjoying it. First more in trim with the lads, how have you found that today? Really good, really good with the boys, um, they're all welcoming from the, from the start and even in training, it was great. Training was like, I was like, oh, like, we really play football. Like, I really enjoyed it. Afterwards, the boys were like, how do you find out that good? Like, some of the one touch like drills we did and stuff, I was like, yeah, this is really good. Like, I like it. So, very good. Very good. And your first match, you're in contention for a debut at the weekend against Wilson, back down south again before two home matches coming quick in front of the home fans. Must be excited to get going. Yep, always. Every time I've got a game, I'm always excited, no matter what. Like, it's what you work all week for, so I can't wait to get going if I do play on Saturday. And when we come back up here, I can't wait to show the, like, our home fans what I can do.